Hello everyone, this is a tutorial on how to use Wix.com. Wix.com is a website that teaches you how to create your own website. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is go right down here to your internet provider and go ahead to Wix.com, which I already have up here on our screen. Now we see the Wix.com. First thing we're going to do is hit this little button here that's called Start Now and we have to they ask you whether or not you would like to log in here but we don't have a login yet so let's go ahead and create our new account now go ahead and enter your email where it says email and create your own password alright so the first thing that they're going to do is they're going to welcome you to this sign welcome to Wix and we're going to go ahead and pick a uh, genre for which way we're going to be going with our website. So let's go ahead and just click on business and services, see what we can find here. How about some sports and games? That sounds fun. And we click go. That then brings you to this page that has previously created templates that we can work off of. Let's choose to edit this one. Alright, so now that our template has loaded, we can start changing everything on this screen in order to personalize our website for how we'd like it. So with these different tabs you're going to see up here on the left hand side, we have, you can edit the pages, you can edit the design, we can add something, we can also change the settings. So let's start out with something simple and let's just change maybe the background. So that's going to be in design, you're going to go right down here to background and then it's going to pop up and give you a bunch of different options and color schemes to choose from. So since we're staying with a sports theme, why don't we go ahead and click this one. There we go and then you just click out of that and you've changed your background. Now the next thing we want to edit, why don't we go ahead and see if we can switch up the color scheme a little bit, make it a little bit more interesting. So that again is also going to be in design. So we click design and we go down to colors this brings you to a list of color palettes that you can choose from or you can customize your own palette like I'm about to do alright now that we have the color scheme that we're looking for we can go ahead and start switching over around a couple other things let's go ahead and switch up this photo right here so we don't really know who these guys are so we want to switch it up and put one of our own photos in so what you do is you double click the photo and what's going to pop up is this little thing that's going to tell you you know hi let's start by adding some images alright now we don't have any images up here so let's go ahead and upload some photos you hit upload image and then it'll bring you to wherever your finder is now I'm using a Mac so I'm going to go ahead and go into my pictures and then I have a little folder Wix pics and let's choose this one right here and you hit open and you click on the picture right there and hit OK and then it'll load now we can also put a title and a description let's put a title to this photo so we got Wilbur and Wilma right here so let's let's say something about maybe basketball season that's coming up and a description and then we hit OK and now we see we have our photo right here, we have our title and our description all on the main page like we wanted on our website. If you scroll down a little bit we see some, oh we can edit this video right here. Let's go ahead and click on it and we go to our uh, settings of the video right here. Once we're in the settings we can go ahead and we don't have to worry about using any JavaScript or anything like that. What Wix lets you do is you can just go ahead and copy and paste the URL that you want for that YouTube video or that video you want for your uh, project. We just go ahead and delete this one in here and paste the one you want in there. Hit update and then load it right in. Now once you've done that, make sure you look at every detail to personalize this template towards its final product. And if you have any other questions about how to use Wix.com, you can go to their website where they have plenty of tutorials that can help you with what you're looking for.